All right, hi guys, Reagan here. Um, this is gonna be your next self-help video. Today I decided to choose something that benefits both the saltwater and the freshwater aquarist, and it's something that's very, very important, not only for you as the home aquarist, but also for us here in the store. So I'm gonna show you how to test your water with the Sarah test kits. Um, this is very important not only to know where your tank is and what your water parameters are, um, but it's also going to help maybe prevent something catastrophic that we can catch early enough in advance. So with that being said, I'm going to show you some of the product. All right, so this is going to be our Sarah test kit. We really, really highly recommend that you purchase one of these. Um, it comes with, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different things that you can test in your water. Um, this kit's going to last you at least a year, if not a little bit longer, so it's definitely a great investment. Um, we do also sell the tests individually. Um, you can see these boxes up here. Everything that's going to be in your test kit, we have individual boxes for. Um, it is a better bang for your buck if you get the kit, you get everything included, and you don't have to worry about it. Um, all the instructions are actually going to be right on the bottles, which I'll show you once we head to the back. Um, when I start actually testing some water and you can see how everything works. So let's head to the back. All right, so we're back here in the back of the store where we test all of the water. Um, I wanna show you one of the bottles. If you look really closely, it tells you exactly how many milliliters of water you need and exactly how many drops to put in. So like I said, all of the information that you need to test your water is gonna be right there on the bottles. It's very easy. Um, they also come with a little pamphlet inside that has all the instructions on it as well. So today I'm going to be testing the four things that we test our water uh, with or for and the four things that when you bring us a water sample, these are the four things that we test in your water as well. I do want to go ahead and just point out there is one difference between testing fresh water and salt water and that's only with your ammonia. So with, if you're testing fresh water, you're gonna use 10 milliliters of water to test your ammonia. And if you're testing salt water, you're only gonna use five. That is the only difference when testing, so it's very easy and straight across the board for fresh and salt. All right, so first I'm gonna test pH. And on the bottle it says, I'm gonna put four drops of it in five milliliters of water. And it's gonna be five regardless if it's salt or fresh. So I just pour five milliliters of water in there and I put four drops. One, two, three, four. And by the way, I am testing uh, one of my salt water systems. So I'm gonna be testing this for salt water. While we're on pH, um, pH for normal tropical freshwater fish, you wanna keep it between 7.0 and 7.5. And side note from Kevin, if your pH drops below six, that becomes very acidic. If that happens, you can almost restart your cycle. Your nitrates will turn back into ammonia and it'll pretty much restart everything, which you do not want. Um, so again, that's one reason why we do wanna have you guys test your water at home. Cause like I said, we wanna be able to catch anything before it becomes catastrophic. So like I said, this is some salt water pH. Uh, for salt water, you want to keep it between 8.0 and 8.3. Um, any of your tanks with coral, they're going to like it on the higher side. But if you have a fish-only tank, you can actually drop it a little bit lower. Um, just kind of depends on what you have in your tank. So it looks like I have exactly 8.0 for this, which is perfect. This is exactly what I want because this is a fish-only system. So that's great. All right, so next I'm going to test ammonia. Like I said, 10 milliliters for fresh water, five milliliters for salt water. So I'm gonna pour five milliliters in there. So the pH was only one bottle. Your ammonia has three. And again, it tells you, when you have more than one bottle, it tells you the number on the bottle of the order. So you can look, that bottle has a one, the one in the middle has a two, and then the last one has a three. That is the order that you're gonna put them in your water. And again, it has the number of drops you're supposed to put in. And for all three ammonias, you're gonna put six drops of each. And then after you put the drops in, just swirl it around a little bit before you add the next bottle. So for your ammonia, you want zero. You don't want any ammonia in your tank. It's very toxic for your fish. So if you look, 
The ammonia is going to be right up here in the top. Mine's light yellow, which is perfect. That means I have zero ammonia in my tank. That is exactly what you want. So next up, we're going to be testing nitrite, which is also highly toxic, and we also don't want any of this in our tank as well. And again, this is a two-part test, so your bottles are labeled one and two. Now you're going to use five milliliters of water for both salt and fresh, so it's five across the board. And on the bottle, it says you're going to use five drops of Our nitrites are going to be down here, and like I said, you want zero, so you want it to stay bright yellow. You don't want it to get any darker. And if you look right there, my nitrites are bright yellow, which means I have zero, which is exactly what I'm looking for. All right, so last but not least, we're going to be testing nitrates. Um, nitrates are actually the good bacteria that you want in your tank, but we do want to make sure that it's not super, super high, because in high doses, it can be toxic for your fish. So this one's actually a four-parter. You have three bottles labeled one, two, and four. So your third step is actually going to be a little powder. And it's got the number three on it, because this is what you're gonna use for step three. And I'll talk you through it once I get there. Now for fresh and salt water, you're gonna use 10 milliliters of water for this one. Now for each bottle during the nitrate step, you're gonna use six drops of each. All right, now step three, you're going to take your little scoop that's provided for you in the kit. You're just going to get one small scoop and you're going to put it right in just like that. Now we're going to put the lid on and you get a lid and a vial in each test kit. And now we're going to shake it. I recommend shaking it for at least 30 seconds to a minute just because we do want that powder in there to dissolve pretty much completely before we add the fourth bottle. So once you've shaken it, now you get to put in your fourth bottle and it's gonna be six drops, just like the bottle says. All right, and once I swirl it around, you're gonna see it change and get darker. Um, for best results for your nitrates, you do wanna wait about 10 to 15 minutes for it to fully settle in color because it's gonna continuously get darker and kind of even out with exactly your number of nitrates so as you can see, this one's already pretty dark. I don't really want it any darker than that, which means I probably should do a water change on this system. Um, if your nitrates are high, best way to get rid of them is just to do a, a water change, um, to put that clean water in, get the dirty water out, and you should be good to go. Now over the next 10 to 15 minutes, this might continuously get darker, which is why we say for best results, just wait a little bit. But we're gonna go ahead and look at our nitrates. My nitrates are, I would say, about right there. Like I said, you don't really want it to get into the reds because once it does, that's pretty toxic because that's really high nitrates. You want to keep it around the, from the middle right there, which is pretty perfect. Um, and if you have a coral tank, you do want to have more nitrates because that's what your corals feed off of. So, just, you know, kind of take that into consideration, what kind of tank you have, you know, what you've got going on when you're testing your water. All right, guys, I hope that was super educational for you. Um, like I said, we want you guys to be as successful as possible and testing your water and knowing where all your water parameters are is one way to do that. It'll take you to the next step. Um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to come in the store. We can go over all the products. I can show you the bottles and we can go through it again in more detail. Um, but this is all about you guys. We want you guys to be as successful as possible. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.